Hello Leo, this is Carrie from Celestial Forecasts with your love reading here guys. This one is a timeless one, so when you, whenever you happen to run across this video, hopefully there's something in the messages that resonate with you personally. General reading as always, so please keep that in mind throughout the reading. So let's get into it guys. I wanted to first start off with these two decks here, my Harsh Truth Oracle as well as my Yummy Tarot, and I wanted to take a look at some of the challenges that perhaps you haven't been able to face or are struggling to figure out for yourself. So let's go ahead and grab a card from the Harsh Truth Oracle deck and then we'll clarify with some tarot. All right, so this could be what's challenging you at this point in time. It says being Instagram official doesn't mean you have found your happily ever after. So this could be one of those situations where on the surface, you know, it might seem like everything's going great, but there could be something brewing behind the scenes, you know, not everything that's on social media paints the full picture as to what's going on in a situation. So let's clarify this and see what's going on. All right, here we go. Oh, we've got these two cards coming forward. So we do have the Page of Pentacles, and then we've got the World. All right, so the Page of Pentacles is picking up off of manifestation and new enterprises. So maybe some of you guys have closed out a chapter where you were too wrapped up in this type of vibe where, you know, everything looks perfect on social media, but it really wasn't in real life. You know, so this could be you wanting to open up a new cycle, a new door where you can be abundant, not only perhaps in your career, your life purpose, but also when it comes to your love life, of course. Now, I love how this is the next card. We've got the energy of the sun coming through Leo, which picks up off of your own energy. So happiness and success. This could actually be what you're striving for in the 3D world rather than, you know, what you happen to be putting out there on social media because I feel for some of you guys that's what this is coming forward as you know it doesn't necessarily have to only be about your love life you know and the whole Instagram official reference but this could simply be what it is that you would like to manifest for real something that's tangible and then we do have the temperance card some of you could also be dealing with a Sagittarian you could have Sagittarius in your chart. So this is a card of patience right here. If it's not happening right now, whatever is going on in your life that you're striving for, just know that you have the capability to bring it in, but it might take some time. Okay, so you can manifest something here, whether it is love, whether it is a career, whether it's improved finances, whether it's a friendship or something to do with a family dynamic. It could pertain to any aspect of your life, but this is letting us know that patience is required to be able to restore balance in your life as well. Okay, so let's see what else we can tap into. Focusing, of course, specifically on your love life. So take any part of that that makes sense for you, Leo. All right, so let's grab some insight from my silhouette deck here, my silhouettes deck. This one is actually currently out of print because I'm revising it right now. But as soon as it's avail available, I know I'm getting all tongue-tied here, but I will definitely let you guys know. Okay, so we'll grab some cards from here and some dialogue to go along with that from another deck. All right, so we do have color lines. True love has no barrier. Let me grab one more. And then we have full bloom. Love takes time to develop. Okay, so we've already picked up off of that energy with the temperance card, having patience for something to manifest, okay? Love takes time to develop. It doesn't happen overnight. If nurtured, that love can grow into something beautiful. So perhaps whatever this barrier represents, it'll take time to overcome it. It'll take time to remove it, okay? So let's go ahead and grab some words to go along with that. I'll be pulling from the Love Journey deck. This is by Bridget of Divine Essentials. For Leo, what else do we need to know? You are my castle in the sky. Okay. Whenever I see that, sometimes it reminds me of, you know, the ideal dream that we want to be able to manifest rather than having it just be a fantasy type thing, you know, that kind of has already all, 
already 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 has presented itself here in your reading so let's go ahead and grab some tarot and see what else we can learn i'll be pulling from my celestial cosmos tarot so it's like a fantasy of theirs perhaps or even yours to be able to manifest something in the 3d but it's going to take some time and that's okay you know we do have the Divine Masculine coming in with the energy of Aries, okay? Um, whatever sign your Divine Masculine might be, doesn't necessarily have to be Aries. This is a Masculine who is ready to take control of the situation. You know, not wanting it to just be a far-off dream or fantasy, but really wanting to come in and grab hold of the reins of this situation and really make it happen. But they do know that it's going to take time for things to manifest, okay? And we also have the Masculine coming in with the energy of the King of Cups. So all of these cards coming forward, representing the Masculine, it looks pretty good as far as what it is that they will be able to manifest between the two of you, Divine Feminine. You know, so this is someone who's devoted and ready for love. Their heart is open. They're tapped into their emotions. And then we do have the Magician, okay, bringing the magic back, so to speak, when it comes to the relationship. And some of you could also be dealing with a Gemini or a Virgo here. All right, so this is a very positive outcome for those of you who are really hoping for that between you and your person. Six of Swords, it's a, it's a transition. It's about moving on. It's about moving forward, releasing past baggage, whatever might have challenged you and your person in the past. That no longer matters, hopefully. And you guys will be able to move on from what might have created a challenging situation if you're able to do that of course you know because some of you might feel regardless of someone's intentions to return that you're no longer interested in that and you just want to be able to move on and that's fine too let's see what else here we do have the justice card so there's something about restoring balance you could also be dealing with a libra here they need to be able to come towards you coming from a place of authenticity and integrity and fairness. So that's tapped into the energy of this card. Some of you guys might also be entangled in legal matters, and this is an indication that that could be falling in your favor, so that's a good thing. Check this out, guys. Look, what's next to the emperor is the empress. We also have the divine feminine, possibly representing Taurus energy here, so take that if it makes sense. Regardless of signs, we do have a divine counterpart situation coming through here, and then we do have the Ace of Swords, so this is a very victorious, powerful type vibe from this card. This is clarity, which is much needed, I feel, for some of you, and it also gives whoever needs it the opportunity to cut certain things out of one's life in order to remove whatever barriers or challenges are standing in the way between you and your person okay so let's go ahead and see what else we can learn for you and this situation leo so hopefully that makes sense for you all right so let's go ahead and grab some cards from the relationship design cards by sister montero Angels and spirit guides, please focusing on Leo, whoever is in need of guidance here. So let's see. We have hope, positive change, mindset, possibility. So I really like how that is presenting itself here. Bottom of the deck, we've got growth, expansion, spirituality, upgrading. All right, so take whichever one of those you're guided towards. So let's go ahead and clarify with some tarot now. I'll be pulling from my Valentine Connection tarot. And just a reminder, just in case you don't know, this deck, as well as the, the sister deck to this one, which is the Valentine Connection Oracle, they're both on sale through, I believe it's the day after Valentine's Day. Yes. So February 15th is when that sale ends. It's normally available at 55 and over on the MPC website, but it's on sale currently for 40. Okay, so $40 per deck. So if you're interested in these, they're available now. All right, guys, let's see what else we need to know here, Leo. So perhaps there's hope that this is a fixable situation. 
Look at this. Can't make that up. We've got the Temperance card showing up again. The next card after that is the Two of Cups. And then we've got the Three of Cups. So there's this very special soul bond that you and this person share. There clearly is the need to wait because Temperance, it really does come down to patience. You know, so in order for something to grow and expand and to change and to be perhaps a better version of what it was before, it's going to take time. And this has something to do with your love life specifically, whether you see them as a twin flame, whether you see them as a soulmate. And the Three of Cups, it's a reason to celebrate something that's a happy energy. Okay, it could also be friendships that turn into love. It could be that too. So new love, new beginnings, positive outcomes, that is what that represents there. Look at this, guys. We've got the Knight of Pentacles. So what is the Knight of Pentacles representing? A very slow energy, slow moving, but it's steady moving, okay? Right next to the Temperance card requiring patience and balance and time, especially if you are hoping for a reconciliation. All of that can manifest. There is hope for that to happen, but it is going slow. It's moving ever so slowly, but it's moving. Okay, you might not be able to pick that up with what's happening in the 3D, but there is movement that seems to be going on there. Let's see. Look at that. There's our Six of Swords, you know, moving forward, transitioning away from the past, heading perhaps towards a different path for the two of you. Okay, so remember, we've already seen that card, Six of Swords popping up again. So you're not meant to be stuck in the past. You're not meant to be just focusing on what happened in the past, more so letting it go and opening up a new chapter so that you can release past baggage that's been weighing you down and really opening up your heart to better experiences ahead, okay? Let's see what else. Look at this, guys. Okay, so Seven of Pentacles. If you've watched enough of my readings, you'll know that the Seven of Pentacles represents a wait and see card. It's about putting in the work, you know, persevering. It's about diligence, the rewards, as we can see right here, that you reap as a result of having the patience while you're working on something. So all of that keeps going back to what we've already seen, which is the need for patience to just hang tight and wait for things to unfold between you and this person, between you and this situation. I have a feeling it will eventually have a very positive outcome, okay? But I feel it's not one of those things where it's gonna be moving super quick to get there, which might be a blessing in disguise because once it presents itself in your life, you'll know, okay? You will know that perhaps it's meant for you. You will know that you're both ready for it, okay? So have the patience to see this through. Don't try to rush it, all right? So that's what's coming through there. All right, guys, so I, I wanted to, for this last portion, to have it be a bit more interactive, and so I'll go ahead and give you guys the opportunity to ask your own questions, and I'll be using my Yes, No Oracle deck here, and it could be, your question could be about love and romance, of course, it could be about career, finances, it could be about a friendship, it could be about anything, it could be about a particular situation that's of concern to you, your family life, all right? So either say it out loud, meditate on it, focus on it. So three questions. All right, so go ahead and focus on it, think about it, say it out loud, and let's grab an answer. It must be able to be answered in a yes-no format, okay? All right, so Leo, question number one. And if it's an answer that just isn't what you're hoping for, it could either be timing issues or the universe's way of communicating to you that there's something or someone better, okay? All right, here we go, guys. Question number one for the collective for Leo. Look at that, guys, if I can actually pick it up. We do have a yes answer and it's a thumbs up right there. So hopefully that's a positive response. All right, so if you have a second question, now is the time to focus on it. And again, say it out loud if you'd like. It could be about anything. So angels and spirit guides, please, for Leo. 
What is that answer, please, for question number two for the collective? We have a no, a thumbs down for question number two. All right, so something for you to consider. It might not be the right time for that one, or again, something better. All right, so if you have a third question, go ahead and say it out loud or focus on it. And let's grab an answer. Angels and Spirit Guides, please, for Leo to wrap up your reading here. And we have a no for this one as well. All right, so we've got one yes and two no's. Hopefully that makes sense for you. And, you know, nothing's ever written in stone as far as yes, no responses. You always have your own free will to be able to change this answer based off of the situation that you were inquiring about. These are just possibilities, okay? So I'll leave that there, guys. If you're interested in your own personal private reading, that information is down below in the description box as well as the action buttons at the end of this video. Feel free to always join us for any of our upcoming live streams where you can get your own personal mini reading during that live stream. All right, guys, so we always try to announce it in advance either on my community tab or on my Instagram page. So if you don't follow me there, feel free to do so. All right, guys, thank you so much for listening, for tuning in, and I'll see you next time. Take care.